do a little handheld here. Um, we're at uh, my surface grinder. This is, uh, I've got two of them. There's a reed there, and this one is a Grissetti. It's an Italian machine. It's hydraulic in the uh, two directions. The down feet of the head is manual. But I just recently added uh, flood coolant to it. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I purchased this little tank down here. Comes with a pump. Uh, it's about $140. And I um, thought that would be a good experiment to start with. And so far it's working out fairly well. I'm kind of happy. I had to make a nozzle uh, for the coolant. And so you can see I used a uh, half inch copper pipe and uh, I crushed the uh, unit and bent it so that I could get a stream there. And uh, I put this there for when it drips. But uh, just to show you how it flows. So it gets good flow in front of the uh, stone. Um, I'm fortunate my grinder came with the two uh, plexiglass guards for the coolant splash and uh, all in all it's been uh, it's working well the uh, I can shut it I can shut it off here with the valve as necessary and uh, I can increase the uh, amount of flow to quite a bit of course we don't need that much flow so shut it off there's a switch there on the wall so all in all I'm pretty happy with that um, put a little screen down in there to try to catch some of the debris but I need to uh, it's got a little weir here in the uh, can where I put the nozzle in uh, but it's not going to collect enough of the uh, grit so I've got to design design a little catch setup uh, for catching as much of the uh, grindings as I can before it goes into the tank my assumption is, I'm, I'm a novice at this, my assumption is as the tank sits there dormant, uh, all the grindings will um, separate and go to the bottom of the tank. Um, so you're not using coolant that's full of uh, grit. I don't know, to be honest with you. But I'm going to try to put a filter on it to uh, increase the uh, cleanliness of it. But with that said, um, I got an idea of what I want to do to change this guy. So uh, let, let me take you over to the bench. Well for starters, for just proof of concept, I ended up printing this little block, uh, you know, PLA. Uh, let the hole go straight through, it didn't matter. And three, three holes in there. Half inch pipe feeds it, and then I have this material here, which is um, got a bunch of it that came with a toolbox that I bought, but it's uh, 170 thousandths uh, in diameter, and I think the, if I remember right, eh, it's about a 90 thousandths hole in the uh, in there. And so my thought was, there's my my uh, my feed tubes that would go to the wheel. And I'd have three feed tubes. I've, I've seen a lot of the, the grinders that have the, the, the nice looking tubes going to it. So my thought is, that was my proof of concept, I think that'll work. So then I dug around and since we have a, I'm using copper pipe, I had a scrap of copper. And it actually had the wedge kind of already in it. It was something I made. Cleaned it up on the mill. And then I've gone ahead and bored for the copper pipe to go down into it. So that would be my fluid coming down. This would be the manifold, I guess. And now I've got to drill and get the pipes all the way back into the tube there. And my thought is, um, they'll be down, you know, down in this face here. One, two, three. Um, I'm going to keep the distance pretty close together similar to what I did here um, but I might try to uh, 
angle the tubes. I'm going to fool around with that idea. Angle them. But what I was hoping to uh, achieve is that if, uh, if this is the wheel, is have one tube shooting at the base of the wheel and then have the other tube tubes shooting kind of at the sides of the wheel. So there'd be coolant here and then coolant heading from both directions, if that makes any sense. Um, a lot of times that I've seen too, if you have the tube, they've been shaved like that for the wheel to be like that. There's your wheel. So I may, may do that. I'm kind of just hairballing it here. Um, but if the, from the sideways view, I'm thinking that the tube may be shaped um, like that, right? So that it shoots at the side. So anyway, we'll uh, bring you back. I'm not going to probably have you over at the mill. I'll just bring you back the finished product. And uh, and I basically uh, solder it all together. This material is, uh, it's, it's metal. It's metal, but it's not plastic. But it's not magnetic, so I don't know what it is. Like I said, I have different length, different uh, pieces of this that were in the top of a Kennedy toolbox that I bought with different uh, diameters. I actually have smaller diameter holes, but I think I like the bigger diameter here. All right, we'll bring you back. Well, I thought I'd show you a little in progress. So got the uh, hole made for the half inch pipe. And then I've gone ahead and drilled. You can see where the nozzles come back in through there for the nozzles to come back. And then I attempted with angling these two with, with uh, where I ground them so that hopefully they would shoot more towards the wheel. And uh, here's a little video. It's uh, not doing what I hoped it would do, so I'm going to try to bend these now. In retrospect, I guess I could have actually went to four tubes and put them much more closer together. It seems, uh, as, I, as I'd shown here, where um, the, the ones that I'd seen, where they, they actually are ground ground like that under the wheel. But uh, let me try a little bend and see if I'm going to try to do is cant these guys in so they're pointing more at the center nozzle and we'll give that a try. Other than that it was dispersing fine. Um, so it's been a fun little build so far. I soldered these in um, so they're, they're not going to blow out. Well here's the uh, modification I did. Seemed to help some. Uh, here's a little video of it uh, running.
back from that. Um, so all in all, I think it's uh, it's a good build. I think I need to file that down just a little bit so that they're level. Um, and I'm going to solder it in place. Um, I don't want this thing, it, although me wedging it on there right now in the, in the uh, grinder, it's holding good, but that's the last thing I want to have this guy drop off and get sucked in. That, that would be a, a big mess. This is the original one that I made. I just did it really quick and uh, basically flattened out the copper tube and uh, it was working well. It's ugly, uh, but it was working well. This is my first attempt at some tubes and I may try doing it again, but uh, proof will be in the pudding. Got to Got to run it and see how she does. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. I uh, have a little uh, build for my uh, surface grinder. Thanks, as always, for stopping by the channel. Appreciate comments. You can share the video. Likes are appreciated. And subscribe. Take care, and we'll see you on the next one.